And the director says, no, we can only do this once. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same feeling. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> Anxiety. Yeah. Bobby, no, don't be. You had do you, do you want a time cue before that? Or no. <laughs> no, because I can pretty much feel, okay. feel it. Yeah. You will have to get over here where I can see you, though. You rolling? Okay. <coughs> All right. Well, here you are in your very first feature movie role and making an impact before the film has truly even been seen by that many people. But I want to ask each of you, Marilyn, you have worked with disturbed children. How do you think the children you've worked with will react to the movie Foxes? Well, I think uh, favorably. I think that they will, I, I think children disturbed or otherwise will react favorably, will be able to identify, will perhaps get some meaningful message for themselves from foxes, um, something that they can take home with them, discuss with their family, and perhaps with their friends about the pain and joys that they go through at this age, and, and relate to the girls up there on the screen in that way, you know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Candace, uh, your role of Deidre, how do you think, if that movie were to have, have continued, say, another 30 minutes, what do you think the effect would have been on Deidre? Well, I think that she was very wise for her years, and I think she covered herself up a lot with uh, superficial things, clothing and things like that. But I think the turning point was the uh, loss of Annie and the reality of what it is to, to have life and to live life and to enjoy life and I think that that really affected her and I would like to think that she'd go off to college and I don't know have a boutique or something you know <laughs> what I mean That's I think that she I think all the girls were, were changed by the effect of that loss of that friendship and I think that as they progressed they would that experience would have changed their lives totally so I don't think that the dingbat of Deirdre would have continued any longer you know I think she would have been very quite different and I think she is different I think in that wedding scene in that last scene you can see that she obviously is not the same person that she was at the beginning of the film and I think it's because of that death that effect of that death very good thank you both very You're much thank, thank you okay all right thank you Should we get out yeah that works <laughs> okay Sheree, performing is nothing new to you because uh, you've been a rock performer, your group, The Runaways, but uh, motion pictures, that's a whole new experience for you and it's opening up a whole new career for you, I'm quite sure. Um, what do you think as far as uh, the impact of the film? People are going to remember you always. They'll say, oh yes, she was Annie in The Foxes. Now, have you tried to project that, that image that you're going to have to carry with you the rest of your life? No, in fact, I haven't. Uh, Annie is really not much like me. She is, but then she isn't. Uh, Why isn't she like you? Well, because she's, she was a very troubled character, very troubled. And, uh, and even though I did, ha I've had had some experiences like Annie did, but I never, I never got into kind of trouble that she got into and I'm not I don't want to project that I am that kind of a person because I'm really very down-to-earth home loving person with a dog <laughs> I just you know I'm really not really running wild like I like everybody thought I was when I was with the runaways you did leave home though at a very early age didn't you yes I had to I, I went on the road my very first tour was three and a half months at the USA at 15 so I've been I've been traveling. I've been all over the world now. It's been, I'm 20 years old now. When you left, was it because of some parental difficulties? Oh, no. I left to go on the road with the band to make a living, to make a name for myself. I did it 
strictly for business. Not at all, because I wanted to leave home. I had a wonderful home life, absolutely wonderful, which Annie also didn't. You know. But didn't your parents say, hey, you've got to stay in school, and, and no. you can do that music thing later on? Didn't they argue with you? No, because my mother and father got divorced when I was age 13, and my mother took my young brother and uh, her new husband moved to Indonesia when I was 15. So I had a choice of going to Indonesia or staying here, and I'm certainly not going to go to Indonesia. So I, uh, I just went about my musical career as soon as my mother left. How do you think young people are going to react to the film? I hope that they take it very seriously because I feel that the end of the film has very much to offer young teenage kids because uh, many tragedies do happen because the kids feel it won't happen to me. And I've had a couple of friends who have been killed and because of uh, realizing that dope isn't where it's at. And uh, I really hope it helps a lot of kids. I think parents should see the film too. So it's really dense, very real, I feel the film is very real. And that happens every day. What happened in that film happens every day. Why do kids take to dope? Oh, believe me, I really wouldn't know, but I would say uh, when you're young, you're, you want to try new things, I, I guess. And you can't ever put kids down for that, but uh, and dope is just such bad news. It really is. It's really bad news. And, but yet you can't help the kids from getting into it, and uh, I just hope that it will keep some of the kids from falling into that trap they do see the film because it's a heartbreaking film. Cherie, you have a terrific future ahead of you as an actress. You're really dynamite in the film. Oh, Bobby, thank you. And <laughs> I, I look forward to seeing you again, and I hope Fox's is, is it's a pleasure. A big, big success. So for do you. I. Thank you. Thank you, Cherie. Okay. Thank you, Bobby. That oh, that was awesome. a super. Okay, Bobby, why don't you look, why don't you, we'll use this for both of them, so look, okay. look at both the girls. Oh, okay. All right, and now uh, for Candace then, uh, or I mean Cherie, um, can I, I look about like this? Do you yep, think? Okay. Sure. Let me just throw in one question. Why do kids get involved with dope? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Why do kids get involved with dope? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.